So the first of these devices is called the cat mouse, which is uh, short for capacitive mouse. And it's a multi-touch capacitive mouse. It basically just has a curved sensor wrapped over the, the mat area there. And if you look uh, at the window over there, you can get a sense of how my fingers are arrayed on the surface. So yeah. I can even you can get a sense that here my fingers are turned sideways. That's my thumb there. It's a big patch. So it's a kind of it's. So you can imagine that um, the interactive possibilities of having this sort of information are pretty substantial. Um, but as I said before, we want to make certain that this is first and foremost a good mouse. Yeah. So it's got all the core functions. It's got left click. It's got right click. And then it it's got scrolling, but it's got scrolling with a bit of a twist. So I can scroll just by moving my finger on the top of the surface, and you can see the contact over there. Yeah. And then I can um, uh, and then I can f I can as I'm scrolling, I can flick. Oh, sorry, I missed my scroll. Uh, so, so basically, it's 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 a scroll function with momentum. So that's something that you couldn't do with a conventional physical scroll wheel. Um, and I can stop just with a tap. And uh, then it gets a little more interesting. I've got a photo gallery up here, and you'll notice um, if I do a little uh, swipe with my thumb there, uh, I I can move back and forward between. Uh, between photos, or actually just back and forward in general through the user interface. Uh, it's actually quite a comfortable gesture. Um, and we've been playing with some other things, like if I do that same gesture over the top of a title bar, I can toss the window from side to side. Mm -hmm. So th the idea here is to, is to make that kind of core day-to-day -day experience of using the computer a little bit um, more fun, kind of exciting, kind of dynamic feeling. We're exploring the whole design space, so you know, what, what does it mean to have multi-touch on a mouse? What sort of um, input devices can we actually build using this, this technique? So the, the version of the, the mouse that Dan uh, demonstrated has uh, a capacitive sensor on the top. This is a slight variation on the theme. So with this uh, mouse, we actually have a, a clear sheet of acrylic and a camera inside mm. um, for the sensing. So yeah. actually take the, the acrylic out. So there's literally a camera that's looking out onto the surface of the acrylic. Typically when you would want to interact with a, uh, uh, an application like this, you know, you would use some other multi-touch uh, sensor. But here we've got a mouse that actually allows us to do things like a flick gesture, just to flick these f photos, to find the photo that we want. Then we can do a typical drag operation, so now we're using the cursor and the standard drag and drop right. metaphor. But if we want to actually increase the size of the photo, again we can do this, you know, the typical pinch gesture that you see. Right. But this time we're doing it on the surface of this mouse. And we've also got control of the, the cursor as well. So, so let's flick through these objects here. Let's grab a video. Let's stretch the video. You know, we can interact with the buttons and the, and the sliders and various other things alongside doing these multi-touch gestures. The, this one we call RT mouse, which is um, short for articulated mouse, because it's made up of these sort of three distinct mechanical articulated parts. Huh. And the idea is I, I place my, my, my palm on the middle of the device and my fingers rest on these little arms that I can move around. And um, you can see the effect here. Um, in this uh, debug screen, as, yep. I, as I move my fingers around, I'm tracking the position and the, the movement of these, of these um, points. Um, one of the nice things of, of designing uh, and tracking the movement of, of my fingers like that is that we can put mechanical buttons underneath mm -hmm. each finger, so I can actually press down to click and you have sort of this nice sort of mechanical feedback and also very distinct uh, way of sensing that you're, that you're applying pressure. Um, it's, it's also it feels very comfortable because your fingertips are not rubbing against the surface right. uh, and they're just moving these these things that, that sliding these these parts around um, and and how it works is it, it's actually three mice in one so if you, each one of these little golden spots is uh, an optical mice sensor um, that at the base it works like a, like a regular mouse cursor um, that allows me to track the movement uh, on the surface of the whole thing, and and we use two additional ones placed underneath the fingers to tra track the displacement of these arms r with respect to the base. Mm. Yeah. Uh, this this pro this one is called Orb Mouse for some obvious reason, <laughs> uh, and um, what we did here is we tried to actually have a mouse which 
uh, is capable of sensing at almost the entirety of, of it, its surface. So this idea is, is another a variation of, on the mouse that has a built-in camera. And if you look inside, this camera actually uh, looks onto this half, onto the silvered uh, quarter of a sphere mirror um, that actually uh, images the entire surface of, of, the, of the dome here. So when you're actually holding your hand on top of it, the entire hand can be imaged. And, uh, and uh, so one, one, of the, one of the interesting things we wanted to do with this is uh, determine how your grip can actually change the level of interaction. So uh, I mapped the entire surface here onto, the, onto this controller, which controls the first-person shooter game. So I'll just play this right now. I don't... Uh, yeah. So it's... Um, so really what you are seeing here is this is the the image kind of highly processed image from my sensor um, and what I can do I can map to different regions on this image to control different aspects so this is the first person shooter game completely controlled just on the mouse uh, what you're, uh, we can control the uh, orientation I mean where you're looking at by standardly moving the mouse around but then also by having this little, you know, you're moving your finger, your your index finger up and down and left and right, you're actually controlling the movement, and you can control the uh, change the weapons here on the side by swiping on the side, or change the the tilt by literally like moving your hand side to side or jumping up and down. This is one last iteration, which is slightly different uh, on the, to the other devices that we oh. built. This is what we call a side mouse. So the idea here is with all the other devices we've explored multi-touch on the surface of the mouse. Here we're exploring the possibility of what if the area around the mouse was multi-touch enabled. So the mouse essentially sits underneath your palm and you can control a cursor. Mm. And then when you're touching the surface around the mouse, in front of the, uh, in front of the mouse, it's able to actually detect your fingers and interact. Um, then you can, you know, essentially turn your table your coffee, you know, your table like, into a multi-touch uh, so surface. So basically, pressing, and putting a finger down, lifting yeah. it up, yes. it would sense yeah. that and and exactly, exactly act accordingly. So in a similar way, it has a camera inside uh, and an IR laser. So essentially, what we're doing is shining the IR laser across the tabletop surface. And when you place your finger down, your fingers intersect with that eye, the the beam of the IR laser, and you get these again very uh, very bright fingers that we process uh, in, the, in the camera image. And so now you can see us driving what is virtual Earth, essentially using mm -hmm. multi-touch interactions, but, 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 but not actually touching the mouse itself yeah. with, with, our, uh, with our fingers. We're only controlling the mouse using our, uh, the palm of our hand.